This is a tomato cage. And I saw something in Hobby Lobby at the beginning of the fall that I liked so much that I wanted to recreate. I wanted to find a smaller uh, tomato cage, but I couldn't. But anyway, just stay tuned to see what I do with this tomato cage. As you can see, I have all these pumpkins. Now, all of the bigger ones were... I'm not going to go through and show you everything that I do, but I'll use these foam pumpkins, these flower pins, which I'm going to uh, adhere the pumpkin to the wire cage with. I'm going to start with this one. Attach it here. So that one's sturdy. And I want this one to put hmm. Let's put these two white ones at the top, I think that'll work. I'm going to have to put the, um, let me bring this down. I'm going to have to wire this together at the top. Okay, I'll go through this place setting really quick, this actual tablescape quickly. I have an orange cup, came from the Dollar Tree years ago. Used their paper napkins, I thought they were pretty thankful. And then the orange plates, well I have a, these are paper napkins from the Dollar Tree, then I have a cloth napkin underneath there, and the orange plate from the Dollar Tree. I have this charger. It's kind of orange. And then the placemat from the Dollar Tree. And then the silverware, of course, is the gold plastic ones from uh, Target, 60 for $5. have uh, two glasses, wine glass and one for water. This little coaster right here I made out of cardboard, round cardboard, and just added some of those leaves from the Dollar Tree. Okay. I didn't even bother to cover the back side. I hope nobody will pick them up, but it's okay if they do. Then I have these little signs that came from Roses at the Harvest. Little salt and pepper shakers. They came from like the Dollar General. And let me move this. And see those leaves placemats. I just put four of them down for a runner. Is it four? Yeah, four. <laughs> for a runner. Set this little thing up on like a um, little holder. They were a dollar. And I used this candle holder. Those little um, candle holders there. Pumpkin candle holders came from the Dollar General. And I just set that plate up there on those orange candles to give it some height. And these I got from my sister. Got them from a wedding reception for my cousin's wedding. That's what she gave out, those ceramic pumpkins. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Sorry about that. Look at that. I thought they were beautiful. What a nice gift. Okay. Then I got these little signs, harvest signs from the dollar 
No, I got those from roses. I'm sorry. And this is the centerpiece that I worked on. I put all those pumpkins in a tomato cage. The tomato cage I got from Lowe's for one dollar, and I just added some ribbon to the top. Over on my hutch, as you can see, I just put um, a garland of fall leaves up there. And give you a panoramic bouquet. I put, I had that tablecloth that, I mean, yeah, it's a tablecloth that matched my placemat. So I just um, did a mock curtain. I think, yeah, I hand stitched it. So I could just pull it apart, put it back on my table. And I had these extra placemats. So I just wrapped them on the back of the chair. Okay, and the center of attention on my bookshelf is the praying hands. Praying to God, thankful for everything that he has blessed us with. Oh, this, let me show you this. I made this wreath to, just to go in here to kind of accent my wall. Just brown mesh. Okay. And then some flowers from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, all the flowers came from the Dollar Tree. And then some orange mesh for the ribbon. And I just added some little orange mesh bows down the side. Oh. I want to take the time to thank all of my subscribers and those that will be new subscribers for watching and for supporting this channel. As always, I say hugs, love, and blessings. And I hope you enjoyed my tomato cage centerpiece. <laughs> take care. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Be blessed.